study of the mind yes i know i took a long break but uh now i'm back and i hope to finish the book as quickly as possible today we're gonna be looking at we're gonna be looking at mind character and personality volume one chapter eight which is about religion and the mind Religion and the mind, the love of Christ vitalizes the whole being. The love of Christ diffuses through the whole being is a vitalizing power. Every vital part, the brain, the heart, the nerves, it touches with healing. By it, the highest energies of the being are aroused to activity. It frees the soul from the guilt and sorrow the anxiety and care that crush that that crush the life forces with it comes serenity and composure it implants in the soul joy that nothing earthly can destroy joy in the holy spirit health giving life giving joy so to all of you guys who are not wanting to be So, you might not like the church, I understand, but the relationship is not between you and the church, but between you and Christ. So, you have Christ in you, he will vitalize your whole being. Let's move on. Christ's work is to heal the brokenhearted. God's healing power runs all through nature. If a tree is cut, if a if a human being is wounded or breaks a bone, nature begins at once to repair the injury. Even before the need exists, the healing agencies are in readiness, and as soon as a part is wounded, every energy is bent to the work of restoration. So it is in the spiritual realm. Before sin created the need, God had provided the remedy. Every soul that yields to temptation is wounded, bruised by the adversary, but wherever there is sin, there is the Savior. It is Christ's work to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, to set at liberty them that are bruised. And this could not be much further from the truth. Because we know, as soon as you get sick, what happens? Your body goes into, uh uh-oh, repair mode. You know? It doesn't wait for you to think about repairing. It goes straight to repair mode. And that's how God designed the body. And that's how it's going to be. So... As, as much as you guys, some of you may be atheists and hate God, but you can't hate what he has done for your body. Let's move on. The Savior's Prescription for Mental and Spiritual Ills hmm. Our Savior's word, come unto me, and I will give you rest, are a prescription for the healing of physical, mental, and spiritual ills. Though men have brought suffering upon themselves by their own wrongdoing, he regards them with pity. In him they may find help. He will do great things for those who trust in him. So, very interesting, huh? You know what? I'm not even going to comment on that part. Okay, and this is going to be interesting. Gospel versus science and literature. And I have met many so-called atheists who say, well, I don't, I don't believe in God because of science. And then they would say, 
It's not like I don't want to believe but I don't have enough evidence. So I'm thinking you're not really an atheist, you're you're an agnostic. So let's see what the gospel versus science and literature have. Science and literature cannot bring into the darkened mind of men the light which the glorious gospel of the Son of God can bring. Yep, that is true. The Son of God alone can do the great work of illuminating the soul. No wonder Paul exclaims, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. The gospel of Christ becomes personality in those who believe and makes them living episodes known and read of all men. In this way, the leaven of godliness passes into the multitude. The heavenly intelligences are able to discern the true elements of greatness and character, for only goodness is esteemed as efficiency with God. You know what's funny? The person who lives according to the gospel of Christ will will be acting differently than anybody else. And they become living episodes. Episodes means what? Well, let's actually, you know what? Let's actually see what the word episodes means. Let's see. What does episodes mean? You guys ready for that? Okay. Let's see. Episodes mean a letter. You know? Now, I already knew that. You know, because we have the episodes of Paul to the Corinthians, to the Galatians, to the Philippians. But I wanted to, I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Episodes mean letter. So basically, we are becoming living letters. Meaning, we, we are um, what we are living preachers. The letters were more like a sermon type or ad, admonition to people. So we become that in society. Let's move on quickly. We're going to finish soon. Gospel alone can cure evils cursing society. Man, if we are not living in an evil society right now, I don't know what we're going to call evil society. The only remedy for the sins and sorrows of men is Christ. The gospel of his grace alone can cure the evils that cure society. The injustice of the rich toward the poor, the hatred of the poor toward the rich, alike have their root in selfishness, and this can be eradicated only through submission to Christ. <laughs> well, we come back to that. He alone, for the selfish heart of sin, gives the, re- gives the new heart of love. Let the servants of Christ preach the gospel with the Spirit sent down from heaven and work as it did for the benefit of men. Then such results will be manifested in the blessing and uplifting of mankind as are wholly impossible of accomplishment by human power. Yes. So, whenever we become more and more selfish, it becomes a me, 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 me. Even in the dating scene today, if you look around, you see all the women who are like, well, what's in it for me? Well, they never asked what I can bring forth to the man. It's mostly, what do I get out of this? And that's what they say, well, Go and get with a rich man so you can so you don't have to live empty handed. So it's all about me and the selfish attitude and the selfish mindset. But as I mentioned guys, only Christ can heal a selfish mindset. This is basically religion and the mind. I hope to see you guys again. Until then, 
Bye for now.